Welcome back to the realm of unpopular opinions. Will this be a vlog? Will this be a rant video? We'll see. But in any case, it's going to be a video about news and about rants and about slumps and just overall a lot of complaining. But I will try and steer it in the direction of books at least because I have a lot to complain about. And this may be like a little update video, maybe like the last three month wrap up, but I'm not going to be talking about every book I read and you will see why. First off, I just wanted to say it was my birthday a couple days ago. I haven't had this huge of a string of bad, bad days, unlucky days, nothing can go right days <laughs> in a while. And this is the first year that my birthday doesn't fall on like an exam or a university or anything like that. So of course nothing possible can go wrong. So I don't even want to talk about my birthday. We will ignore that, it was horrendous. But it falls into the category of <laughs> things to complain about in terms of books because I ordered 14 books for my birthday. I'm never going to see those, am I? Like. I ordered stuff in January and I got two out of three of the things that I ordered in January at the end of March. I already got the refunds for them like back in February. I feel so guilty about it because like it's not my fault. I didn't know if they were lost or not. I still haven't got one book and I'm going to lose those 14. Either they're going to put them in one huge package so maybe my post office will deign to do their jobs. But if it's separate packages, I'm not going to see those, at least for like half a year, and I'm going to have to request refunds again. And I feel like a criminal doing that because I'm like, I know this is going to arrive to me, but at the same time, like, I'm not sure it's going to arrive to me. So I do need the refund because it's possible that it's going to get lost. Like, I can't really count a package that arrives to you after half a year not lost. Like, they just found it accidentally. Like, in January, I got a. Uh, a copy of a manga that I ordered in August that I already got a replacement for and they found the old one and got it to me like I can't count that not lost like it's not my fault and I don't know that that's gonna happen so I need to request the refund but I still feel like a criminal because I do get them eventually but again it's not 100% that you're going to get them eventually so I still feel like a criminal asking for those refunds like like I'm doing this on purpose but I'm not but it very neatly ties into what I'm going to talk about next. So I first wanted to just show you though that I got, this is probably the one thing that I will get for my birthday <laughs> because it wasn't deliver, delivered by my local post office, but one of the like, not international, but other, you know, delivery services. But this Woodwick candle, <laughs> you could only get it if you order it online. I've never seen that scent in person and it, it's beautiful it's delightful like woodwick has very expensive essential oils obviously so it's very very strong but i'm so happy with it like that is this is exactly how i want everything to smell everything <laughs> like everything needs to be this exact scent it's like cedar pine i think a couple of the other ones but it's delightful i love it fur obviously <laughs> but it, it's everything I wanted and more and you got it you, I got it at a discount so it was <laughs> it was absolutely great this is the only thing I'm going to see for my birthday like I spent an insane amount of money on those books and I don't even know if I'm going to see them ever or I will see them like at the height of summer but it's not really your birthday is it if you don't see your presence until August <laughs> So that's, that's it about complaining about my birthday. There's nothing more to say. It was the worst. I've had worse birthdays, like objectively, but in terms of consecutively bad days and nothing going how you want it to go, this was pretty bad. Like I preferred my birthday when I had it during exams because at least then you had like other things to think about. This year it's just atrocious. Let's segue into the next bit of my complaining. I've gotten rid of the mic because I give up, like I give up 
on everything. Honestly, I just, I, I've had nothing can go right. The buzzing that you heard in some of the last video appeared out of nowhere. So if anyone knows anything about it, that'd be great. It's not it has nothing to do with the phone that I'm recording on because when I do it like this, there is no buzzing, but also the buzzing appeared out of nowhere. Like the mic was perfectly fine. And today when I plugged it in, I like filmed a little clip, there was no buzzing. But now that I'm talking for a longer period of time, like it's bad, I'm, it's back. I'm, I'm just, I, I refuse. I refuse. Nothing is going right. And I don't care. <laughs> I don't care anymore. On that note, let's actually get into the books. I have hated reading for months now. Now it does correlate to me not being able to order anything because usually I order stuff that I can't find here, either in the library or to purchase, which is very often the case because I don't read the most popular books and then I sometimes can't find the stuff that I do want to read. <sighs> So, since I haven't really ordered anything new in like four months, I've been reading garbage books. I've been reading stuff from the library. I've been reading ebooks. Now, I won't say that everything I've read has been garbage. Like, if you go on Goodreads, you'll see stuff that isn't bad. But when I say my reading has been horrendous, I mean, again, consecutively. Like, I haven't read anything phenomenal since last year. And the stuff that I have read that's been good, I've already forgotten about because of how bad my reading has been for a while. Like, I've been reading a lot, so like, I'm not in an objective slump, I'm just in a everything is garbage kind of slump. Like, I am losing patience by the minute. Like, everything I read that doesn't interest me, like, immediately, I am going to DNF. I am going to just throw out the window. Now, for reference, you know from the last vlog or whatever that I bought the Little Classics box sets, which was a brilliant idea on my part to read like one daily or whatever, except, except if a lot of them are bad in a row, you sort of lose faith in the entire idea. I most of my favorites have been like within the first 20 little black classics but I'm almost at 40 now and I think I've had one or two that weren't either DNFs or one out of five stars they've been terrible they've been ranging from boring to downright offensive to of subjectively awful objectively awful like it's I've just not been having luck with those and classics, as we well know, are even in the best, at the best of times, they're densely written. It's a writing style that's not modern anymore for a reason. So I've lost all patience with it. Like, I have soft DNFs, DNF a few of these, in the hopes that I will pick them back up when my patience has been re-downloaded, but that hasn't happened yet because the books have just been horrendous. Like, for the last couple of days, all I've been reading have been bad classics like I picked one up to read on my birthday to be like okay I'm probably going to like this it was one and a half stars out of five it was awful it was I, w I was sitting there on my birthday already nothing has gone right and I was like who allowed you to be a writer there's that whole like TikTok like I think that you shouldn't be a writer and I feel like I think that daily I've been reading the Every Heart of Doorway, Wayward Children series from the library. I enjoyed the first book somewhat, somewhat, like it's a lower four star. I went back to get the first book. It was a one star. I, I don't know if I'll even gather like the energy to read the rest of the books now. Luckily, they're from the library. Everything I've been reading has been like that. I read Good Girl's Guide to Murder, as you know, from whichever video I mentioned that in one star like I, everywhere I turn I feel like I am thinking to myself how are these people published how do these people have any clout why do these people get ink and paper wasted on their garbage and nonsense and absolutely shit thoughts that no one should care about if you think I'm being extremely negative. I absolutely am because I have had enough. 
I have had enough. Like, I am not in a slump. I want to read as much as possible. I don't have university. Like, I have papers to write for the next two months and then I have to study again. But I have papers to write, which don't even get me started on those. That's not why we're here. But I want to read. I want to read all the things, but everything is letting me down and I've been forced. And I say that as someone who rereads books a lot. I haven't reread a lot of books this year, actually. Like I since since I finished Lord of Chaos, I don't think I've rewrote a book in like months at this point. And there's a reason I do that. There's a reason I do that. Because I physically need to heal after this period that I've been having. Like I picked up Ursula last night, I think. And I, I need, I need to feel like people know how to write. It's also, pardon, it's also sort of connected to the fact that I've been writing a lot. So like my brain demands good entertainment because it takes a lot out of me to write as much as I have been writing for the past month or two. And it's not giving, it's not giving, it's not serving, it's not, it's nothing. Nothing has been giving for a while and I've just, so, I think not even so many bad books as so many middling books where I'm just like, I, I didn't hate this, but like, what was the point of this? Why did I read this? Why does this exist? Why are you a writer? <laughs> and again, I think it's just been heightened by the fact that I'm currently writing and struggling at in the trenches and loving what I'm writing actually like I've gotten through a difficult point in book two and I'm loving what I'm writing right now I love rereading what I've written because it's genuinely good and I'm genuinely happy with it and then I pick up a book for fun or for leisure or for relaxing and it's horrendous it's horrendous and I'm like I do not want to speak to these people I do not care what they have to say I do not care about their opinions I do not respect their worldview I do not want to listen to these people in my downtime like it is not often the people who are in university in school at work in life who aren't rich that they have a lot of downtime to read as much as I currently have the time to read and it's horrendous it is absolutely abysmal what I have been spending my time reading. <laughs> I am clutching my shawl in in horror. <laughs> but yeah, I don't even want to talk about like books I've recently read because honestly, I'm in such a mood right now that I couldn't even tell you anything positive. I could not even tell you anything positive about anything that I have read because I just don't remember. My mind is stuck in the bog of nonsense <laughs> so yes what is the point of this video you may ask it is somewhat of an update <laughs> it is somewhat of an explanation as to why i'm not po posting a lot even though i have the time to i simply cannot stomach talking about books right now like every now and then if you find a dud you can find some enjoyment out of ranting about it. But if everything you read is either mid or absolute steaming pile of crap, there's not much to talk about. There's not much to talk about. I will take the time though to tell you actually anything good that I read. So give me a minute. <laughs> Cracked open the tablet. Let's go. Now in terms of Little Black Classics, there have been a lot that have been okay or good, but not excellent. The only three that I actually gave five stars to, I think, were Cup of Sake Beneath the Cherry Trees, whatever, I think that's the name, Communist Manifesto, and Walt Whitman. I, I love him. I bought the entire book of his poetry and I still, like, flip it open to see those poems when I feel like shit, which I have been, as we've established. So I just, like, flip through it and read. I love him. He's maybe my new favorite poet alongside, like, Robert Frost. I love him. What else have I read that hasn't been absolute garbage? I read How to Train Your Dragon, but that's obviously been a bit of a longer project because I don't like audiobooks, even though it's David Tennant. I just don't like listening to audiobooks for too long, so that's been a longer project. It's not really, like, new. I read Alterbaceous, which I gave this, <laughs> this book. I gave Alterbaceous five stars, like 4.5 stars, just because it's pleasant. But here's the thing. I gave it five stars because it deserves it, like what it is which is a gardening memoir or whatever it's 
that is what it is like it's good <laughs> if you enjoy that sort of thing like it's good it's going to do its thing it did what it set out to do I'm not thinking about it though like it's not a plot that you think about after you're done with it like it's not a five star where you're going to think about it for weeks it's just good at being what it is and I enjoyed my time reading it but I haven't thought about it since I finished it so it doesn't really count I'm just like scrolling and trying to find anything <laughs> that I gave five stars I was reading the Garfield comics because of how shit I was feeling I was like I need I need I'm desperately searching for something that I'm not going to hate <laughs> See, I'm just scrolling like through Goodreads. I also, the first volume of Not Smith, but I mentioned that in the last vlog. So I'm going to try and not repeat myself. I'm just going to like scroll through Goodreads and let you know when there's something that I actually want to want to mention because I'm just scrolling and there, nothing is a positive experience to think back on. And it's been, we're in the first quarter of the year and it's just not good. A lot of DNFs, a lot of one stars. It's just bad. It's really bad. <laughs> yeah, okay, I think we're done. I've scrolled and I've not found anything I want to talk about that I haven't talked about yet. So that's it. That is it. I think I may actually end the video here. This is like a short little rant for me to look back on because I've been needing to share this with someone I'll actually like go get the books I have like over here like on there I have like 15 books <laughs> on that stack because I'm so desperate to find something that's going to make me believe good writers exist and I'll show you what I'm trying out and then I think we're gonna end the video I'm gonna call this like a wrap up probably but it's it's more of a it's more of a rant let's let's be real with each other First positive is the one physical book I actually bought for my birthday I didn't have to order and you're gonna know what it is immediately <laughs> it's this edition like it's stunning actually and I'm gonna go get like the Japanese edition that has sprayed edges it's really pretty but I'm going to show you why I got it <laughs> why even though it was 16 euros and I know a lot of these legends I got it anyway <laughs> and you're going to I think understand if you know how much I love a certain anime that I haven't been able to shut about shut up about last year. I'm going to see there we go. I flipped open and I saw this. I haven't been able to find it anywhere and as soon as I saw it, I ran <laughs> I ran to like the cash register. I mean I'll let it sink in like you know why I bought this book <laughs> and it's not that I'm not interested in it like obviously I am but as soon as I saw that story I immediately bought it because it is what it is like <laughs> he's my favorite character in fate and I haven't been able to find the original legend like anywhere obviously I read it on wikipedia but I wanted to read it and it's illustrated like it's a stunning edition actually like it has these old timey illustrations and i think it has color illustrations too let me see yeah like it's a beautiful edition i'm gonna go and get japanese tales because i'm also interested in that and then there's norse which i've had enough of i know too much about and there's indian which i'm not that interested in so i'm gonna get these and i'm gonna get the japanese legends <laughs> so that's it that was the one purchase that i'm actually happy about aside from my candle i started this book as I said I would I read like three chapters I put it down because it was a little dry and I needed again I needed a kick I need something that's going to sweep me off my feet but we're not putting that down we're actually going to be reading it this though has been like the savior I'm very deep into it actually like I'm up to Robert Louis Stevenson and Arthur Conan Doyle now like I'm 150 pages into it excellent I've not hated a single thing in here if there's anything to talk about in this video that's positive it's this book <laughs> like Scottish folk tales and legends excellent I don't think I've hated a single one and that says a lot I love it it's an excellent collection adore it I can't wait to finish it but I also kind of don't want to finish it then these these embarrassing books these embarrassing books I I hate them <laughs> I haven't read them but I hate them like my library only had 
three and five so I'd have to read like four on on ebook which I could live with if this was a good series I think there's a reason why everyone said come tumbling down was the best sequel and if it is the best sequel then I'm in trouble I'm going to try out this one but if it's garbage I'm just not going to move on I'm going to re return these to the library and give up I've had enough the first one was horrendous I need I need no more of that. I think this one is actually like about Jack and Jill again, but I've had enough of Jack and Jill too. The nuance with them has been spent. I also do not understand. This is like not not really a spoiler. Like these are really short books. Not much to spoil, but Jack and Jill, the main characters of like the second book, which is a prequel to the first book. If you read the first book first, their entire story is told to you. I do not see the point of writing that second book. She changed some details. Which is why it was a little bit jarring to read the first book that was written first but there was no point <laughs> there was no point the entire story of book two is told to you in book one so i am glad that i read book two first i would have been pretty annoyed <laughs> had i done it the other way around but yeah this is the third book i think it's about the character the irritating character that goes into candyland i hope it's not about her I think it's about her child or something, yeah. And this one is supposed to be about Jack and Jill. I don't know what the fourth book is about. I don't want to know. I d they're easy to read. They're very quick. But at what cost? At what cost? <laughs> then I have this because I asked my dad, like, is there a book by Asimov that I could read that's a standalone in Nash Short Stories? Haven't picked it up yet. I can't. I'm not in the mood for anything, anything sci-fi, which brings me to this. I picked this up yesterday and also in the hopes of being entertained because come on like it's I'm very interested in the time that Anakin spent with Obi-Wan when he was young like those 10 years I really want to read it is it the time though it is not it is in fact not and I've picked up this I've picked up Tales from Earthsea I can't read The Other Wind I'm not in that emotional headspace but I've picked up Tales from Earthsea and of the tales let me just find the list there are two that I feel like rereading. I do not feel like rereading of two that I hated because like what what would be the point in that? So I wanted to reread The Finder, but then I remember what the story was about. I'm not in that mood either. So I'm going to be rereading The Bones of the Earth and On the High Marsh. I loved those two. Hopefully they'll be putting back in a in a good mood and that's that's it. That's actually it for the video. So this candle highly recommend it's excellent also if you have plans for your birthday be very prepared they're going to go to hell and you're going to feel like shit especially if you live in the Mediterranean where the weather has gone to hell too and it's now currently 30 degrees in the first week of April so I would like to ask you tell me about any good books that you've read recently because I'm I've had I've had no time <laughs> to be happy as a 23 year old yet so we're gonna give it a couple more weeks <laughs> I guess that is all I had to say in this video I do not hope you enjoyed it because it was miserable and I will likely be the only one to ever rewatch this because this is a bit of a complaint diary I will see you in the next video